Hi there, we're going to take a minute to look at the simulation. Um, it's the magnet and compass simulation from FET, and this is for people who don't have access to a Chromebook or a laptop because FETs don't seem to work on iPads. So we have a compass here, and we have the planet Earth here, and you'll notice that the inside of the planet Earth, they have what looks like a bar magnet with the south side of the bar magnet toward the north end of the Earth and the north end of the bar magnet toward the south end of the Earth. And I want you to look at our compass here. So what does that tell us about this end of the compass? If this end of the compass is pointing up, is this a magnetic north or a magnetic south? And think about that for a minute because it's a little bit trippy. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to move the compass around the Earth, and I want you to observe what happens to the compass. And so as I move the compass, you can see, so we're going to do one pass through, looking to how the compass needle changes position. So now when it's all the way above the Earth, when it's about at a 45 degree angle, when it's perpendicular or at a 90 degree, well, it's parallel, sorry, to the magnet inside of the Earth. And then as we move south, and now we are perpendicular, and look where the compass needle is pointing. And if I move the compass quite a bit farther out, I want you to also now observe what happens to the needle. And it's changing just quite a bit more slowly than it was at when we were closer to the Earth. But again, notice what happens to now the north end of the compass needle. And now I'm going to start bringing it closer and see how the position of the compass needle changes. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn on the visualization of Earth's magnetic field. And we can see how the needle of the compass is lining up with the magnetic field of the Earth. And remember, each of those little Compass arrows represents Earth's magnetic field and what the compass would look like at that position. So if I try to overlay it a bit, you'll see the arrows are pretty much in the same place as the compass needle points. And again, when I go over here, and then if I even bring the compass above the Earth, it can get an even, we can see an even more dramatic wow, visualization of what's going on. Okay. And I hope that you took some notes down. Um, please feel free to watch this as many times as you need. Thank you.